In a month that has seen the British Embassy reportedly making driver licenses easier to apply for, they were working with their Thai counterparts to produce training and forms in both English and Thai. Thursday will see the new regulation in force regarding medical testing prior to applying for a license or license renewal. Doctor certificates will no longer be a tick and stamp, but rather a complex series of tests, including blood, to confirm that you don't have one of a series of diseases, along with the doctor's opinion that the applicant is neither an alcoholic or drug user. Whether or not a drug test will be done to aid them in that decision is yet to be revealed. Phuket lovers destined to tie the knot are the first to experience changes to marriage applications between Thais and non-Thais. Expected to spread across the nation, foreigners on Phuket report that they now have to supply fingerprinting and other details to establish a background check in their own countries before they can seal the deal. The regulation approved last year is designed to reduce the number of foreign criminals marrying here for convenience and anyone with a history here of violating immigration rules is also liable to find that they simply can't get married. Why are the roads so busy in Thailand? Well, a total of 269,000 new cars and motorbikes were registered in January this year, bringing the total number of cars, bikes and trucks actually registered in Thailand to 38.5 million. A British father is reported to be holed up in a Sakon Nakhon police station after being stopped at Bangkok airport. He'd been here to take his son, born in the UK, back home after his ex-Thai wife returned here with the child before Christmas and refused to return him. He'd gone to the village and picked the boy up and made one mistake. They'd gone into a family home to find the boy's passport. Charged now with trespass, it's unlikely he can be charged with kidnap, as the boy is British-born and bred and is subject to UK laws and a court order. However good intended, the dad was poorly advised, as courts in Thailand often rule in favour of foreign fathers in custody cases. His family in Scotland report that his ex-wife had offered a deal to drop the charges in return for money, which he refused. American Jessica Corda took the Honda LPGA Thailand title at Soi Siam Country Club on Sunday, with Thailand's Moriah Yuta Nugan taking second equal position alongside American Lexi Thompson. The series was televised worldwide and drew huge crowds to the course too. In Nakhon Si Tamarat, a local radio station saw a brick thrown through its windows after they played music that at least one listener didn't like. Police there are seeking the thrower. The station thinks they know who he is. We, meanwhile, at Fabulous 103, are on the fourth floor of a building, so consider ourselves reasonably safe. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 31, dropping down to 23, an overcast and slightly wet day. That is the local and national news from Fabulous 103 FM. Keeping you in touch with Thailand and of course Pattaya, the city of fun.